Charlie Whiting is one of the most respected figures in the Formula One paddock. Involved in the sport for four decades and appointed as the FIA race director over 20 years ago, he ensures that every Grand Prix goes ahead as planned. As part of his wide-ranging duties, the 66-year-old manages technical and circuit safety, areas which have undergone massive development during his time at the helm. I've been involved in Formula One for 40 years, so obviously I've seen a great deal of change, certainly on the safety front. When I first started, chassis were aluminium, and uh, little by little things got to be more sophisticated, and then in 1985, I think it was, was the first ever crash test. But I think the biggest change happened in 94 after Ayrton's death. If we hadn't had that weekend, it may have taken a lot longer. That acted as a bit of a spur. Central to these safety-based developments are the 10 teams and 20 drivers on the grid. The opinions of whom Whiting and his dedicated team take seriously as further changes are implemented. Whenever we discuss new potential safety initiatives, teams are very receptive. I don't think the drivers know nearly as much as the engineers do, but I mean, when it comes to visible things like cockpit sides, which some drivers didn't really like at first, and then we had uh, the hands, some drivers objected to it and said, I can't possibly wear that. As we all know, now a driver would never get in a car without one. It's unthinkable. And of course, now we've got the halo, which is another big step forward, but I think everyone will get used to them very quickly. As F1's hybrid era develops, Whiting also has an eye on the future and how the sport will continue to adapt to keep both manufacturers and fans happy while satisfying safety requirements. We have a few challenges that face us, but what we're looking for is a simpler, noisier and more affordable power unit. We also want to try and make the cars simpler. We want to make them easier to race so a driver can follow another car more closely than they appear to be able to do now. On a personal level, Whiting revels in the new challenges he faces every day he sets foot in the paddock. But one constant is his role as F1's race starter, which still provides a buzz. It's the build-up to it that's the bit that stimulates you. You, know, you sat there waiting for what could happen. You could have fire on a grid or you could have a sort of streaker or something silly like that. At that point, more or less anything can happen. Pressing the actual button is the culmination of it. 